Hello and welcome back to Factorio and we are setting up the station or stations for the iron at this point. In the last episode we did the copper one, moved it around and put down some, uh, some stuff to see how much space it's going to take up and build it out to actually take up that space. And we had a bit of a biter problem up here uh, because of, uh, as you can see, the massive pollution coming from the coal. Um, we um, had a few biter attacks or not just a few, but a lot of biter attacks. So we went around and killed the nests that were in the pollution just to get rid of like the ones that were spawning all the time now there might be a nest that's uh, become a part of uh, let's say the attack squad uh, uh, bite nest because of the pollution reaching them after a while or they might colonize and it happens to be inside the pollution range so but we are going to see if we can set up this one over here now we have a bit of a dilemma when it comes to the stations here uh, or rather the the outpost because we have one two three patches of of ore two of them is iron one is uranium this is a good uranium to pick from so i think we do want to use this uranium at some point which means we need to plan for where we might want the station for that so we actually have the space uh planned out <clears throat> And then we need the space, like the stations for the iron. And I do believe we should make it two stations. And I actually had an idea right now that instead of having them like this, let's take the one that's here. I'm going to move this one a bit, but have it. They have this one be the first basic like that then I'm going to move this because it's in the way and once we get to over here we can put down the next one um, let's do this so it's actually level there we go some something like this and then um, the track uh, goes like this <clears throat> I don't know why I uh, unselect, but I am, which is very stupid of me. Um, and here we are going to, I believe the best thing to do would be... Now this is going to be a very, 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 very long one. But I think that's going to be fine. So let's put this one right out here I'll remove this tree let's remove these trees I could grenade them but I don't care uh, I am going to grenade over here because there's enough trees to warrant a grenade um and like this now let's see 
Ow. Uh, let's see if we can plan this somewhat decently. Um, there we go. This one. Uh, and I'm going to actually do this. Uh, like that. Now, this one over here is... going to be a chain signal because of it being not only an an exit but also an entrance so it's going to have to be a chain signal so it can actually chain the signal and yes i wasted some grenades there but that's fine um, and then we are going to, let's see, going to have to remove this, remove those trees and there we go, because we need this, um, uh, it's easier to do this, you don't need to do this, um, as always, you don't need to do this it's just this way i have a uniform um like one style and not some i usually especially when it comes to uh train networks um i usually make them somewhat organized because it can get really messy, especially if you want to, like, have... If you want to expand and make more trains. So... It's just a convenience thing, really. And... I do believe we are going to... I think the best option for this one would be on top here like just directly up here so we are going to have to remove a bunch of walls we are going to have to put down a lot more walls um and uh, get this built now thankfully we have a lot of time um in this episode so i think we will uh we might get uh, uh, finished with this outpost. Uh, it might also be that, oh, we have like a tiny, tiny bit left when we when we get to 30 minutes. Uh, if that's the case, I will actually, I will actually, um, um, at that point, I will actually make. Uh, the episode a bit longer to finish up what's left just to finish up what's left and like not do a bunch of other stuff but just finishing up the station if it needs the time now it might be that it doesn't so no 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 that is one too many There we go. <laughs> I'm laying down the track just so we can see where we want the walls uh, later on. <clears throat> Um, there we go. And let's put these ones down. I'm not going to bring power out here for quite some time, but that is fine. And then we know we want the wall uh, here.
Now, let's see how much space do we think we need. We might need quite a lot of space, most likely. Uh, not that one. This one. Now, we do want space for belts and stuff to be able to go uh, from places uh, inside the walls and not having to go up on the outside. So, I don't know why I'm taking it away all the time, but I do. For some reason I do. And let's do that. And now I just want to bring these tracks down here up. We don't have that much track left uh, on us. I think we have a bunch in, in the car. Worst case scenario, we are going to have to go up to the base. But we should have a bunch in the car, I think. Yeah, we do. Good. Let's pick up a bunch. Um, and let's put down the connection like this there we go and then let's connect it up over here as well there we go now all we have left uh, really at this point is to is just to put down a bunch of signals i'm going to put down the exits first that is usually the best thing to do Put down where your exit is go where you know you're going to have an exit. That's where you want a normal rail signal. And then you want the chain signals in your entrances and in various places to make your track um Why are you blinking? Is because of this? It probably is. Yeah. Um, and then uh, put down chain signals in the entrances and then in between to chop up the segments or the blocks. It is blocks. Uh, you can call it segments as well. It's uh, not that big of a difference, really. Let's see, how much further up do we want it to be? I believe up to like here-ish, like around there. So this amount of extra space maybe. That should be fine. Let's bring it out. And I should probably make it I don't need to make it like super super uh, what I am going to do is a bit of tweaking when it comes to the walls of how they go and let's shoot the rest of the trees down to the walls so I don't have to repair them let's pick this one up shoot this one and put down some walls Now, let's see, where do we need this? There. That's a good measuring tool, uh, going into the map mode and zooming in. Uh, since your character isn't moving, you can very easily get... Uh, 
can quite easily measure like line up stuff we are going to do this because basically what i'm doing is this kink in the wall is just being moved upwards at this point there we go that should be fine and we have the wall as it will be up here now we need to move stuff <clears throat> let's move a bunch of wall because it's in the way then we need to put down the turrets where they should go oh this i really do want robots i might put up robots and get like <laughs> like very rudimentary amount of robots to get show off a bit of the really bad armor and stuff um rather the the worst kind of power armor um i can make it i probably should make it to get some robots and like that uh such good things uh, because robots are really good especially when you want to deconstruct you can just use the deconstructing planner and designate what you want to get rem uh, want to have removed and the robots will swarm out and remove it uh, but robots are very power hungry so that is one reason why I haven't done any robots just yet. And they do require some exotic uh, resources. Uh, it's not like extreme, but it is a, a bit expensive to build them, especially if you're going to build a lot of them. let's while we're here put up the defenses just in case you never know um like that let's move this one to here since it's a corner we do want to be a bit extra careful same over there let's do this oh, the dog is whining and she won't stop until they get in ah uh, there's people outside uh, like people are outside doing stuff and she can't be out there and play so she is whining because she can't be out there having fun with them. So she's trying to, it seems like, drive me mad by whining. Um, but yeah. I wish they could get in already and like so she so she shuts up uh yeah now we are extending the wall um when it comes to Oops, not the wall, that one, right. There we go. Uh, now, the question is how, like how far south do we want it to go? I don't think I want it to be very far from the track. Uh, just enough to, um, I think just enough to get enough space to be able to move like belts around and 
Okay, that's not good. Uh, and that way just... Get just enough space to be able to... Um, to clear the track and a bit like and have space for gun turrets and eventual uh, random bits that happens to have to go there for for some reason and then you want a bit of extra space to not have tracks getting hit by biter spit and uh, you actually have space to to walk on walk in if you want to go down there to repair or stuff um so yeah i think this is like like this because then the turrets become like this and if you then have any belt like say like this we still have a bit of space so yeah i think that's a good i think that's good Let's shoot away some of the trees over here. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just do this. Just remove this bit. Um... Yeah, and that and that way we can get away with, uh, like, or rather remove this kink in the wall. Uh, the less uh, like bends you have in a wall, the better. So now you might uh, you might uh, build. Um, like your wall in a way that they get funneled into a kill box. Uh, I'm not sure how well it works, but it might work if you if you use like stuff they really want to attack, so they really try to go into the kill box. But I'm not sure how well like a kill box works in Factorio to be honest. I don't think it works that well. But I could be wrong. I haven't really done it. I usually put up enough turrets. Usually that's what I do but sometimes I don't. Uh, it depends on how the cliffs are as well, like if the cliff uh, form uh, sort of a natural choke point, uh, putting a few turrets th there to like ma very easily kill, that might be something that is very good to do. Now it not necessarily always going to be possible um, and I'm not sure how well a man-made one is going to work. Plus, your walls are pretty flimsy. You might need to have double thick wall like this, and maybe even triple. Um, depending on how aggressive uh, the biters are. But... Um, yeah, let's remove this for now. I just peeked at the time and we are like almost 25 minutes. I think we are going to manage getting this done. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, but I think we are going to get this done this episode completely without going over time. Now, it is very possible for me to just lose track of time and still go over time, but uh, yeah, let's hope I don't. Let's hope I don't. 
we probably move this one like that make it a bit more useful picking up these i don't have that many uh turrets at the moment but i don't think i used that many more than uh no no i used like five or six more than uh than i had or maybe it was more than that but yeah it wasn't that much more i still have quite a few turrets on me <clears throat> move that tree and then we are going to i'm going to lay the tracks first and then we are going to do the signals and once that is done we are finished with <laughs> at that point we have like the station track like that absolute basic stuff for planned out or for the outpost then we need like to actually connect it up to the network and we need to put down belts and miners and and we have to make the trains and set them up to actually go the correct way and and so on and so forth So it's going to take some time until we have the iron up and running. Um, um, I might take a break from the train bits, though the problem is we don't have resources, so I'm going to have to do this if we want to make stuff. Now, I could probably make the next episode a bit of um, let's make some robots to help us build stuff which would be really good to do that would be good to do now the stations are done they are completely finished at this point um yes there's a lot of unnecessary track but that is fine we are going to keep it like this i'm now going to put down a bunch of signals and realize i don't have enough chain signals now when you do these kinds of junctions, you will find that the chain signals gets used up quickly. While the rail signals aren't being used even closely, like anywhere near the, that fast as the chain signals are. So let's finish this up i'm going to keep these as uh, because they are still uh, good uh, to have to force uh, trains to to go out into the system now what i am going to do is keep just this one here to not have too much of let and then do this so if there's a train occupying this one it's not going to crash into because i think we are going to have quite a bit of traffic over here We need that one. Is this all? Yeah, I think that's all over there. Um, yeah. Then we have a bit more. Now, I am going to keep this one because there's a lot of track until the next thing pops up so i am going to keep that uh now no 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 let's do this do i have enough 
Do I have exactly enough? Um, we have this one, we have this one, this, 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 this. Yeah, I think we managed to just barely build it all. Just barely. Yeah. Yeah, we did. That's good. Now, let's see. Can we squeeze in? Because it would be great if we could. Especially for this one, put... Uh, let's see, this one, two, three, or five. Like that. It's the five. It's two, five. Yeah. So, this means we can actually... It, this one whole stretch isn't one block. Which is good. Uh, chopping up, like the more you can chop them up uh, in blocks, the better. Now, you need to be careful uh, because uh, if you have trains that is longer than the blocks are, uh, especially when it comes to like long straight uh, rails, then it's better to make sure that you don't chop them up too much but keep them, uh, for example, if we have this one here, if we don't want one just right there. Now, what we should do is put this so we have five white boxes on the track here, which means we can actually fit a train in between the two signals. Since we are going to use one locomotive with four wagons we need to make it five long so that's the the reason why i uh, look at uh, how many white boxes we have uh, for the um, the signals and stuff uh, especially on the long straight path because the trains will stop only at the signal if a train uh, takes up more space um, then it's going to waste a bar uh, and clog up the system especially if you have a lot of trains if you don't it's not necessarily super important but it might be but with that, we are going to call this episode uh, because we are, we are done. We did it. We uh, put up the station here. We have put up the station for when we want to do uranium, if we want. I might not even do it, but we'll see. Uh, but we have the two stations for iron. Now we just need to do everything else, like the belts and the miners and the power out here and oh yeah it's not going to be super fun but it's going to be sort of fun especially when it works when it actually is working it's going to be very good uh, but we are going to have to call this here so we don't have a super long episode so with that Thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.